Kipiti na langu ni Benjamin Nikombo na nafanya kazi ya kulima wakati huu. Kulima ni kama nilianza nikiwa mtoto. Nikienda shule nilikuwa nikilima mahindi, maragwe na uza na wakati mwingine natumia kulipa fees. Lakini kwa wakati huu uh, aswa na lima miembe, machungwa na vitu vingine kama vitunguu hivi. People here call him Dr. Ikombo because apart from being a farmer, he is an agronomist. He had been farming for years, but his approach has changed since he met the Digifarm team about two months ago. We have been spraying uh, mangoes using the tradition, the usual knapsack sprayer. But uh, once I came to contact with the Digifarm, I understood then there is a new technology uh, which is more advanced, which is probably is more efficient, and that's why I'd been able to, to, to integrate with them so that I can uh, exploit the, the, the new technology which has come to us. Digifarm is a free Safaricom service that offers smallholder farmers access to a range of discounted products, customized information on farming best practices, and access to credit and other financial facilities. Recently, Digifarm and a tech startup called Estrol Aerial partnered to enable farmers like Benjamin Ikombo have access to drone technology for spraying crops. Solomon Mwigai has been working with farmers in the mountain and eastern regions of the country as the regional anchor at Digifarm. He has observed some of the challenges that farmers face. They range from the high cost of labor, farm inputs, but most importantly, lack of mechanized services, which is the gap technology like this hopes to fill. In one acre piece of land, a farmer would uh, incur a cost of about uh, 1,600 shillings to just do normal spring and uh, again it was taking a lot of time at the same time um, due to the human aspect in it there was no equal distribution uh, of the chemical spring across the across the piece of land so therefore when the when the plant uh, nears maturity you'd see certain sections of the farm have done quite well other sections of the farm uh, not doing so well. Using a drone reduces the amount of spray needed by 60%, but the biggest gain for farmers like Benjamin is in the reduced cost. For human labor, uh, farmers do pay per pump. So we find that uh, they pay one person to spray uh, 200 shillings per pump, which goes to maybe five to uh, seven trees. Uh, and if a farmer has about five, 500 trees, you can imagine how much that uh, translates to. Geoffrey Nyaga, the chief operating officer at Estrol Aerial, explains how it all comes together. So our journey with the farm actually starts even before we come to spray. Uh, we first conduct uh, aerial mapping using drones where we get the map of the farm. So like in this case, we are able to know exactly how many trees are on this farm, how they are spaced out and what is the capacity that the farmer has in terms of utilization. Then whenever we get the, the, the call to come and spray, uh, our process usually involves coming to the site. Uh, we talk to the farmer uh, about the chemicals they are going to spray uh, and also the advice they've been given by the agronomist. Uh, we take that into account, then we work with the farmer to do the mixing of the chemical and we also advise them on safe practices for handling the chemicals. One of the advantages the drones are bringing on board is that we cannot overspray or underspray. Uh, then we load the chemical on the drone and then our pilots take it up and we, we now spray the entire farm uh, at about five times faster than what they were using before. We are excited that uh in the reserve, we have never seen something like a plane and drone is doing that work, which we had been doing using NAC sprayer. Drone technology is one of those uh, technologies that we have for farmers, where they pay per acre, and we make available this equipment that can come do spraying, they can, they can do mapping of their fields, they can do scouting, and very soon some of them can even do things like planting as well. So we think it's an important part of our offering, in terms of technology that helps farmers do what they were doing before, but just quicker, faster, better. My expectation is that, uh, first of all, it will be efficient. In a sense that uh, it should be able to spray well, we should be able to get good quality. And uh, the other expectation is that uh, we would expect it's going to reduce 
labor treatment actually. Previously, what used to happen, a lot of farmers were getting chemicals, let's say for two acres, like what you're doing here. Halfway through or three quarter through, either the chemical uh, gets finished, or they realize after they finish that even some of the chemical is remaining. With the precision that we are bringing to agriculture, it ensures that the, only the right amount of chemical is seen, uh, is being used, and that also has another trickling effect on cost. This technology is going to, or already it is, uh, really helping us and it's going to a, to a, to a large extent uh, we are already seeing uh, positive results from it especially for the areas that we started a bit long ago as uh, the maize far for the maize farmers we are seeing them reporting reduced cases of um, fall armyworm the service is the first of its kind in the country and is available in a few African countries such as Rwanda and South Africa. Currently, farmers in Kenya pay 500 Kenyan shillings for the service, with Digifarm covering the cost of mapping. The service is available to the 1.4 million farmers who have signed up with Digifarm. Our end game is to ensure that uh, especially when it comes to fruit crops, uh, you realize through mechanical spraying, there is a lot of scorching effect that really occurs uh, because you find there is excessive use of chemicals. Using drone spray, we use what is really necessary to, uh, for that particular plant. And therefore, uh, when the plant matures, it matures uh, with very good quality and therefore it also enables uh, us to get a good market for, for, the, for the same. And that translates directly to, to increased wealth for the farmers.